Happy first week of January, everyone. Um, so next week's menu for January 8th, 2018 is up. And I wanted to go ahead and walk you through the menu as well as show you some really cool features of our meal plan service if you are not a paid member yet, um, because it is the perfect way to start off 2018. You'll save money, you'll save time, you're gonna cook a lot more and feel a lot healthier. So next week, we've got a bit of a Middle Eastern Mediterranean theme going on. Um, so we're going to start off the week with honey harissa pork chops. And that's got a warm carrot ribbon, uh, carrot ribbon salad with mint and feta. And if, for those of you who are vegetarian or like, you know, I'm not going to do a pork chop, you can click onto our veg and you can see that the title changes. And for vegetarian folks, we're doing tofu strips with honey harissa dipping sauce um, instead of the pork chops. The reason that the picture here doesn't change is because we only photograph our original meal. This allows us to keep our meal plans at a really low price and offer you the gluten-free, paleo, and vegetarian options. So you're kind of getting, you know, basically four meal plans for the price of one. Um, you can also change the, the, the serving sizes here. And I'm going to go ahead and make this, click, make this meal and that'll add it to my grocery list as well as my weekend prep. Uh, for Tuesday, we're doing kind of continuing on with that Middle Eastern theme, a Turkish pita with hummus. This is going to be done with ground pita, and we're going to just, you know, saute it up with some really great spices, and we're going to put it on hummus and, and a hummus and a pita, almost like a pizza, like a Middle Eastern pizza that you all are just going to love. Um, and we're pairing it with a green salad with citrus and pomegranate. So you're going to get some nice pops of color as well, and some, some juiciness from both the citrus and the pomegranate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make this meal as well. On Wednesday, we're doing a vegetarian meal of crunchy lentil tacos with feta. And I promise you, these lentils will be so great that you're not even going to miss the meat. And it's going to cost so much less and be a lot healthier for you. Um, so kind of that perfect New Year's meal. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and increase this to eight servings because I want leftovers of this meal. And I'm going to click make it. And it's going to go ahead and add it to my grocery list and weekend prep list. And I don't think we've actually done a, a chicken Caesar salad before for a for an entree salad. So I'm super excited about this one. And I'm going to go ahead and make that in its original form as well. And remember, of course, you can you know change the serving sizes, change the diet options, whatever you like. Um, and since everybody in my household is currently sick, I'm going to go ahead and add another meal. And I'm going to go for a chicken noodle soup. So what when you do when you are a paid member, you get this additional feature of being able to uh, customize your meal plans a little bit more by adding meals. And this this pop-up has taken a little while. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, and I'm going to do, there was an Asian chicken noodle soup from last year, which wasn't that long ago, but I'm really excited to add that into the mix. So um, it's going to go ahead and add that in. It's thinking, it's thinking, and there you go. If we've gone ahead and added it, and I'm going to go ahead, um, since it's a slow cooker meal, I'm also going to increase it because this is something that I would probably be wanting leftovers of um, to freeze or just to eat um, extras of. And so, oh, just for some freezing notes, we always offer some freezing ideas here too, ideas for leftovers, what freeze as well. If you're gonna freeze this one, separate the noodles out because you're gonna end up with a big bowl of mush if you try to freeze it all together. So then I'll go ahead and hit make this meal. And now my grocery list has been updated. So you can kind of see my grocery list has got five different meals in it. Um, and so, you can go ahead. Um, what I do is you know, check off all the things I have. I've got honey, I've got panko, and then I go ahead and email it to myself. And uh, within the email, once I receive the email, I kind of forward it back to myself and I add my notes of all the additional things I need, like eggs and milk and all that stuff. It's not ideal that we cannot just add it from you know through here, but we're working on these things. Um, and there's a little that you know that's a good little hack to get around it. Um, so for those of you who like to be old fashioned, you can go ahead and print and email everything out to yourself as well. Um, I do recommend actually like emailing or printing your e meal plans or saving them in some format just in case, you know, something there's like an internet apocalypse and you're in the middle of making dinner that you still have access to everything. Um, and then for those of you that who are, you know, on these like 2018 resolutions that want to, you know, make huge changes in your life, like doing weekend prep and getting all your meal prep ready for the week, we make that really easy to do <clears throat> with this weekend prep section. So you can kind of go see, go through all the meals and see what are the things you can do ahead of time um, on a Sunday and just get really easily bang out those meals on a weeknight um, when you're a lot busier and things are a little more chaotic. Um, so that is how our meal plan service works. And when you want to go into each menu, things are slow, a little slow today. What just happened, you know, I think everyone's off to like the internet, my our internet is off, off to a little bit of a sluggish start. So um, once you get in, to, once you're, you know, into the cooking week, so you can go ahead and click on Monday's meal. Um, I think, I'm, I guess I chose to make the vegetarian version of this. That's totally fine. You can do the vegetarian, you can do the pork chops, whatever you'd like. Um, 
for, you know, our goal really is to help you become a better cook while you're cooking dinner. And so we have all these little videos here, anything on the video icon, you'll kind of see it just pops up into this little pop up and all our videos I try to do without audio. Um, I mean, without any like me talking. So you can just like quickly watch with or without headphones and see like how to chop tofu correctly or how to turn carrots into a ribbon or use a spiralizer. So you're becoming a better cook while you're making dinner. Um, and so just dinner becomes easier and easier for you because you become more confident in the kitchen. So that's, um, you know, one of the things we offer as well as for those of you who are, you know, trying to, you know, with the new years or just in general and just keep on top of things like weight watchers, your waistline using weight watchers or my fitness pal here. Um, you know, we offer a lot of different ways that you can use these meals with whatever program that you are using um, to keep, to keep up with your, with your health. And then we also have this great nutrition facts label. So you can kind of dig in and see like, oh, most of the fat is from, oil, you know, cooking oil or from pine nuts. So you can use a little bit less pine nuts or you can use a little bit less oil and that'll help you reduce the, you know, specific macronutrients that you are um, a little bit, you know, that you want to be more on top of. And then of course, please leave ratings for the meal so that we can improve and make sure that we are creating the best meals that we can. Um, so that is what we've got in store for you for January 8th, the second week of 2018. We hope you're still, you know, going strong in the kitchen and we want to cheer you on however we can. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.